Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're back for Dead Mountain Death Play Episode 8. Uh, last episode, we got more familiar with the Phantom Solitaire and found out that he appears to be trying to team up with the real fire breathing bug, or what we believe to be the real fire breathing bug. And we've already seen one fake, so why couldn't there be two? I don't know. Uh, we'll never know for sure. I mean, that's really all that happened last episode, uh, besides, um... Polka talking more to his family and his uh, father and explaining some of uh, some of his um, hidden secrets, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, that's about all that ha happened last episode. Um, but that's at the top right in episode eight. Oh yeah, these people showed up here last time. What? They didn't even say yes. You've just signed yourself up to sleep here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they have no idea what's happening. Yeah, you might know who she is, but you don't know why she's here. You only found out that your own helper. Wait, is that. Is that an entire bag full of sharks? Is that how obsessed this chick is with goddamn sharks? There is an entire bag full of them. Also, uh, that's, a, that's definitely a Chinese name. That's interesting. You don't usually see that in uh, Japanese anime. You have a whole bag of them. They didn't burn up. Unless you had a million more in that house. Oh my god, the noise that bag made when she set that down. He, she, I'm not sure if that's a he or she. When they set the bag down. Uh oh. Yeah, they're gonna keep a watch on Polka, it would seem. It definitely wasn't her. I mean, we know it wasn't her, but obviously he doesn't know that. But I don't think it was her. Does Polka just sleep in this one room on this couch? Is that what happens? <laughs> just sleeping in the shark, okay? You don't sound full of life, truth be told. <laughs> in bed? Oh, it's a sleeping bag. A shark sleeping bag. <laughs> you can sleep standing up. They don't exactly look like professional police officers. Oh, they seem to have some history with this guy, too. That is true. They try to see if he has any involvement with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just jabbing at him. <laughs> More than likely, yeah. Ooh, that would be interesting. Polka. Now they're finding that he's connected to their family. Mm. This could get interesting. 
Uh, very... It's both of them, honestly. Uh-oh. This is gonna be so interesting how this ends out. Yeah, they're definitely killers. Hope that he exposes Polka's secrets for us. Oh, this is so cool! This is so cool! Everybody's making moves all at once. Hmm. I can't help but feel nervous about them being there, if I'm being honest. Especially the bodyguard. I feel like the bodyguard's up to no good. I had a feeling. What are you about to do? Ooh, not ideal, not ideal, not ideal what you're doing right now. <laughs> You're stuck in a shark. So his job is to keep them safe. But he's like, maybe he has his own thoughts on the situation. Mm, yep, he's going out on his own and doing something he was not told to do. Whoa, wait, what? Yeah, but this guy doesn't know how strong Polka actually is. He'll never work again? Who says that about a child? What? Only lo- Jesus Christ. Lost all four limbs. Yikes. Yeah, you're gonna make him? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Where'd he get his limbs back from, though? Ah, he gave him prosthetics. Mm. Oh, it's a Shino Yum? Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Shino Yamas own that robot. I didn't notice that in the other episode when they first showed it. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. There's like very little fan service in this show until you see these three, and then it's just all fan service. Okay, Jesus Christ. I like this is really, they're making this really difficult to focus on. Okay, so the, the Lays are like a Chinese corporation that works with uh, the Shinoyamas. Hmm. That's interesting. Malfi the home wrecker dragon. Well, that's a wholesome, weirdly wholesome story. <laughs> Misaki! Yeah, this has no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Whole skeletons. <laughs> it's because it is a bunch of dancing skeletons. If only we could quantify your mana reserves and consumption like in a video game. Yeah, that would actually be very useful. <laughs>
Uh, calls herself Misaki, Sakimiya, Sakimiya Steel dissolved following the death of Mr. and Mrs. Sakimiya, so after her, her parents died. Working with the Shino, Shinoyamas, left tracks at the Human Knots crime scene, Lemming's footprints found, acting together in Shinjuku. Okay, so they're trying to like figure out the connection between Polka and Misaki right now. <laughs> or if it has anything to do with this case, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it could just be a really screwed up family thing. Oh boy, what are they about to do? <laughs> oh my god, the CGI dragon. Oh, it was VR. <laughs> yes, a bunch of people taking pictures of him. He's got to get out of there before the police get there. <laughs> I was gonna say the fact that he's just walking around the streets and there's no police catching him is insane, but well they found him. Hmm, fire safety. Jesus. <laughs> Um, why the hell are they here? They just walked right up to his home. <laughs> Misaki! Misaki. Hmm, they're not open yet, sir. Ooh, something's about to go down next episode. Alright, man, another great episode. Dude, this show just... It's so good. Uh, I love how... See, a big thing for me that I like in shows is when they work with multiple different plot lines and multiple different character groups, and they all converge at once in some big, like, epic finale. That is the shit I love, and I feel like that's the direction this show is heading. With the police officers, with the Shin Shido Yawa family, with the Phantom Solitaire, with the Fire Breathing Bug, with Polka. Like, I feel like this is all going to converge all at once in this big finale, and I'm so hyped for that. Um, just overall, the show, its writing is honestly really good. Like, no detail is left, um, left pointless, I guess you could say. The comedy's good. I mean, it's just, overall, just a great show. Um, I really don't have much to say about this episode. Other than that, I'm loving this show, man. Um, I'm hyped to see where this goes. This also felt like more of a build-up episode to what's gonna happen in the next few. I wonder where I, I don't know how Polka is gonna get out of uh, these cops just showing up to his showing up to his humble abode out of nowhere, but I guess we'll see how that all trickles down in the next episode. Um, but that's gonna wrap up my reaction to Dead Mountain Death Play episode eight. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.